Hello, my name is Stuart Wright from AV Forums and welcome to uh, video number eight in my Build Diary series of the construction of the new AV Forums Home Cinema. It's day number five and today we see the first acoustically transparent material going up. So let's get cracking. Unusually, the first length of material the guys used had got an imperfection in it, so they took that down and started again. Plenty of material on the, on the rolls, so it wasn't an issue. I asked Simon to tell us a little bit about the material and how he's attaching it. We've been using um, a stretch fabric material which we've made extensive use of in the room. Um, we've uh, applied that in a couple of ways. Uh, one of the main ways um, is we have our own um, track manufactured. Um, that it's like a retaining track so that the fabric is actually trapped uh, within a groove in the track. Um, so the track's stapled to the ceiling um, so we've got a good solid base to, to apply the fabric. Uh, we then apply the fabric in sections, um, so we can do a section of, a, of about uh, 1.5 metres in, uh, in width and that's limited by the, the fabric width uh, of 1.7 metres, so a little bit there to play with, um, by as long a length as you know, the, the, we, we need within a room because the fabric comes in rolls, so lengthwise we're not limited. So this is a section of the, uh, the, the fabric uh, that we're using in the room. Uh, so it's acoustically transparent fabric, so um, that, that's great because it allows us to do you know, various things. <laughs> Obviously, within a cinema, that's, that's uh, very important. So we, we put it in front of speakers, so we can, we can hide speakers, and we've got that in, uh, in in all the speakers in the room. So visibly in the room, you can't see any speakers uh, when it's being used. But also, it allows us to put acoustic treatment behind it. So. Uh, on the removable panels at the back of the room. Um, we've, uh, we're not used to track there, we've actually created some MDF frames which we've stretched the fabric over. Um, so we've got a good taut, you know, clean finish, but the, uh, we can apply acoustic treatment behind there and that'll be done after the event. So those frames are removable, which also allows us access for um, any future cabling changes you may want to make as, you know, as things change and, and develop in the future. Um, so the, the, the fabric is very obviously very versatile in the design of the, the, the almost the whole the rooms now being covered in the fabrics. We, we decided to do the, uh, the ceiling again, which was a sort of a design change along the way. But um, they were, they were quite keen on the uh, the look of the fabric, so it made it, it made sense to keep that and, uh, and do the ceiling as well. Um, but it, it's you know used a lot in uh, more commercial applications where there's you know they're using huge quantities of it, so it, it's not an, a particularly expensive fabric. Um, and it's uh, so it's available in in, in quite a wide uh, range of colours, and, and it's quite a wide fabric roll in itself. Um, so we, we can do quite wide spaces with it without too much of, a, of an issue. Uh, and it is a very durable fabric, as you say. It's designed to be used in in that sort of application where it's going to it's going to take a bit of hammer. So it is it is quite durable. Well, obviously, the decoration of the room is important. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a family room, and it's you know we, we could have put black fabric everywhere, but it's particularly inviting. So. Uh, we've chosen a, a darker fabric which is going on the uh, on the screen wall, so that's, that's one block colour of, of, of this darker fabric. Uh, and then uh, I've, I've talked before about the band that goes around the, the room and the removable panels and the doors for the, uh, the Blu-ray shelving. Uh, so that's all covered in that darker, darker fabric. Uh, and then we've just highlighted that with some of the lighter fabric um, either side of that just to create some, some nice features and uh, enhance the design of the room. Let's just pause for a moment at the end of day five to have a closer look at some of the elements of the room. Starting with the right hand wall, you can see the areas there created with the track for the material to be attached to. Similar area there on the rear wall. Notice the white cable, that's the power supply for the electrically operated blind for the rear patio window. And the cables there, the dark one is the HDMI cable for the projector. There's a couple of Cat5 cables there and there's also a power cable right at the top. Lots more cables coming mostly out of the loft space down into the rear left hand corner of the room which is where the equipment cabinet is going to be located. The light switch cables. There are four large removable metal framed panels covered in acoustic transparent material which will be located either side of and above and below the screen to create the surface of the front wall behind which the speakers will be hidden. So that's day five done. Join me again soon for day six. Thanks for watching.